Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms. I know that I said I was going to wait for the full release of 1.13 to continue Kingdoms. That was before I found out that 1.13 probably isn't coming until the end of July, and I really don't want to go like a whole month without Kingdoms, because I'm actually feeling pretty good about vanilla right now, and it's all good. I have, however, reworked my whole texture pack. We are in pre-release 6 right now, and uh, basically I had to uh, update the texture pack in order for it to work in pre-release 6, and I figured while I was at it, I might as well rework the whole thing to incorporate the new Minecraft textures that uh, Mojang is going to be releasing at some point in the probably relatively near future. I, I, we don't really have like a release date or anything like that, but all the new textures have been incorporated into my texture pack because my goal was to play with the new textures when they come. And as a result, uh, I have, well, remade my texture pack. And on top of that, that means that a lot of the textures had to be remade from scratch because... I want, so the original texture pack, and I say the original, the texture pack that I have been using in this series up to this point was designed to be used with the default vanilla textures. So, for example, if we look at, like, uh, granite, right? Um, tell you what, let, I still have, yeah, yeah, let's fly up here real quick. If we look at granite, granite was basically dark, so it was basically just stone brick, with, uh, made darker. That's all it was. I took the, the vanilla stone brick texture and I made it darker. And that's how we got our granite texture. Same for the cobblestone. I took a uh, vanilla cobblestone and I just made it darker. And that's how we got regular unpolished granite. Well, cobblestone and stone brick were both completely reworked in the new texture pack. It's a subtle change, but the change is there. Those were reworked. So as a result, I had to take the stone brick, uh, the new stone brick and the new cobblestone texture and darken those instead. So a lot of the textures here have been tweaked or changed or remade from scratch, essentially. You will find a link in the description to the updated version of the texture pack. Uh, please bear in mind that it will not work uh, in versions prior to pre-release Five, I believe it will definitely work in pre-release six. I think it will also work in pre-release five, but anything before that, it's not going to work because basically what they did is they went in and they changed the name of a bunch of stuff. So for example, if we look at like this, right? Minecraft stone. So basically the way that the game works when it's looking for a texture is there's a file that says there is a block called Minecraft stone and the texture it's supposed to have is something like asset uh, Minecraft slash assets slash uh, Texture slash blocks slash Minecraft stone or something along those lines and basically they changed it So instead of being blocks as the name of the folder like it used to be they changed it to block which means it messed up the, the the texture pack for every single texture in the game. And unless you go into the, the files, basically, and change those folders, the texture pack simply will not work at all. So this new version of my texture pack will work in pre-release, I believe, 5, and later it will not work in versions of Minecraft prior to that. Also, as a result of the changes, some of the textures... Uh, are some of the textures that I changed are no longer in the pack. I just removed them entirely. So as an example, um, let's see, do we have any over here? Let me just run to my storage room real quick. Just gonna land. Here we go. Um, yeah, here we go. So in my original texture pack in the old version, I changed mossy cobblestone so that it would be the same color green as mossy stone brick because I thought it was absolutely ridiculous that 
mossy cobblestone was like this fluorescent green and mossy cobblestone was this kind of like olive green. So I changed mossy cobble to be the same color as stone brick. Well, in the new Minecraft textures that are coming out, that's already been done. So I didn't see the need to change cobblestone again. So there's some things like that as an example where I have uh, basically just removed the, the change that I made because it just wasn't necessary anymore. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, everything else is pretty much, you know, as close to vanilla as it could be. Any major changes I made, I did carry over. So, uh, birch as an example. Birch in my texture pack is much, much whiter and much more like grayscale, uh, than it is in default in, instead of being very kind of yellowish. And even in the new texture pack, although I will say in, uh, in the default textures, in the new textures, uh, birch is not nearly as bad as it once was. Um, but because we have kingdoms like Solus, the city of light in this world, if I did away with that change entirely, it would kind of ruin the whole thing. So any major changes like that I made, uh, I did carry over, uh, red sandstone, for example, uh, for regnum, nether brick is still black, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I made, uh, I mean, obviously this is a huge change. There's a lot of stuff. All the new textures are in place, and uh, this texture pack should now work. I'm sure I will have to tweak and modify and change things as we go along. I'm sure there will be some things that I notice where I'm like, oh, I was going to do that, and I totally forgot. Uh, let me change it. So expect more updates to the texture pack uh, in the coming weeks. But the big news is that... We have updated the texture pack, it now works, and we are going to continue Kingdoms because even though I said I was going to wait for the full release of 1.13, um, I don't want to now that I know that 1.13 probably isn't going to be coming out until the end of July, and that's a long time to go without Kingdoms. So, yeah, that's the news. Now, as for today's episode, um, I think I want to do kind of a couple little, like, minor things. Like, for example... We have this uh, building right here, and we said this was going to be like a duplex, but I, I don't have any sort of an interior on it. Uh, we also have an inn somewhere. Yeah, right here, I think. We also have this like little inn that we built. Uh, I think we actually built this in the last like proper episode of Kingdoms, um, and I want to do the interior on this as well. So we're going to do kind of these some of these like smaller projects. Uh, today, that's kind of my plan. Um, let's go ahead and start with the inn. So let's just go in here. We'll get rid of the floor. Because this is going to have to be, I think, spruce wood to match the stairs. And that's fine. And then we'll want to add, obviously, you know, a proper interior uh, tables, chairs, beds, blah, 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 etc, etc. So let's see here. Uh, this is all dark oak. And I should also say, with the new textures, like, it's also possible that I'm just gonna look at some of these textures and go, eh, that one's just a little bit off. Like, I still need to tweak that a little bit. Like, for example, if we look at up here, right? We have, uh, we have this, these logs here, the dark oak logs, and then we have dark oak underneath. And there's some other places where there are spruce and dark oak logs. And those two textures used to be almost exactly the same color. Like spruce logs and dark oak um, planks. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore. So I might need to tweak that a little bit. Uh, or some of that kind of stuff. So, you know, just little minor tweaks and changes, things like that. Um, we also do have, and this is going to be kind of controversial. There, there's this new, uh, the new plank texture looks very kind of beveled and rounded, almost like plasticky, like this, this texture right here. And I know some people really don't like it. I'm kind of on the fence. I hated it at first. But it's kind of grown on me, I admit. Um, however, I'm still not entirely sure that I want to keep it. We may want to change that as well. Uh, but we'll see. 
Let me put down a couple of torches up here. That should help light that up. And then maybe one like here and one like here. I think that should provide enough light for the interior. Let's put a torch right there. And maybe, I mean, that's not gonna be enough to light up this whole thing. So maybe we'll put one here and here as well. And then in here, I'll put like two torches down like so. Do the same there. And we'll put one here, here, and here. And that should be enough light for basically this whole place so that it will be spawn proof. I think I can get rid of that torch. So now the fun part. Now we get to get into interior stuff. Why am I trying to mine a shulker box with an ax? I'm pretty sure that is not the proper tool. Like I'm no expert, but uh, yeah, I, I don't think that's the right tool to do this with. <laughs> Let's grab some dark oak logs. And let's go and turn some of these into planks. Let's do some dark oak slabs. Let's do uh, some dark oak stairs. And let's start with like a little bit of a bar. We'll go like that, I think. And this is like, this is where the people would come, uh, the, the guests of the inn would come to get served. Right? Serve their drinks or, or whatever. Then I think we'll go... We want some, like, tables and chairs and stuff in here. So let's maybe do something like that. Um, we need to do this in such a way... We could probably put one, like, here. A table. Actually... Let's, let's do a couple of like corner tables. So we'll go here, there, there. These are, these are like our tables, right? This is where the guests will sit. And then we'll do another one here. Maybe one in this corner. And where could I fit one more? I mean, I could almost fit one here, but I don't think I necessarily want to. Maybe we'll just, uh, let's actually just scoot this one over. So we'll go like there. You get torn out. And we go boop, boop, boop. Okay, so that those are our tables for the guests. This is like the little tavern area, right? Because well, basically all these places had like a tavern um, associated with them. At least that's what it feels like. That I don't like. We want the table, we want the window, or we want the table itself right in front of a window, I think. Because otherwise the stairs connect up and it looks funny. Um, let's go maybe like that. Just a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Okay. Now, uh, we're gonna need beds, I think. Do I... Well, I know I've got wool. Let's just run back to our storage room. We should have plenty of wool there because we've got that sheep farm that's like right underneath the town or whatever. Let's just land. Okay. I think I keep my wool in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of leaning towards green. I think green would be good for like a nice little simple sort of color. Um, the other option as well, this is something else we could do. Let me grab maybe some dark, well, I already had that. Let's maybe grab a little bit of this too. I'm thinking maybe we want to put some pressure plates on top of the tables. Let's just fly back and see how this all looks. Do, 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 do. Just fly through the main gates, fly up, over, and there we are, we made it. Look at that. Let's try this. Let's say I want a dark oak pressure plate. That's not bad. That might be an option. I also want to try an oak one. Hmm. Hmm. I th think I like the dark oak better. 
Yeah. So we got one, two, three, four, five tables. Or five more tables, anyway. Let's just put these like so. And those are just representing the tables themselves. Okay, awesome. Um, crafting table is in my inventory. All right, so I'm going to put a crafting table here. We're going to need probably three beds, I think. We'll put one, like, right here. Or actually, let's, uh, let's put it right there instead. So that'll be, like, a little thing. And then I'm thinking, like, right here, we'll have, like, a little table. Maybe put a crafting bench there. We'll make a chest, and I can put a chest on there. And then, like, this could basically be the bedroom. Or maybe, uh, better yet, let's actually put the chest here in the corner. So there's, like, a little, you know, work area or a little table here that they can use for whatever. They got the bed, the crafting bench. Uh, the crafting bench is just, it, it is not actually, like, needed for the decoration, but I kind of like, I kind of like it anyway. Put you here. Make me... Another chest to go there, and oop, and boop, boop, there. So now these rooms are identical, they're just mirrored, and I think that's good. And then here, this is kind of a, a little bit more of a fancy room. So I think we'll go like, bed here. We'll want probably like a, a larger desk right here. Like so, with maybe a chair. Eh, it's too big. That, that desk looks very out of place. You go there. In fact, let's do this. Let's actually put this bed over here in the corner. I'll put a crafting bench here. And I think we'll do, like, a double chest. Or maybe... Put a double chest there. Hmm. I'm trying to decide, like, how I want to lay out this room. One chest. Maybe you put the bed... Sideways, like so. And then right here is where you put the table. And then there's room for something, like, right here. I just don't know what. Maybe you turn that? Or maybe you put that. Yeah, 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 let's do it this way. There we go. So a couple of chests in here, just to make it look a little bit more lived in. Got some stuff. I mean, honestly, like, now that I'm thinking about it, this could probably just go. I don't necessarily like the crafting bench in there. I think we'll leave that. But we should have a crafting bench in here, like, somewhere. There should be one. So why don't we just hide one, like, underneath the stairs over here, just so we have it if we need it for some purpose. I think that works. Like, this is a pretty simple little inn, uh, but I think it gets the job done. Okay, now, there was the matter of that duplex, and I gotta remember, it's over here, here we go, this is the duplex. So let's go, um, again, let's take out all this stuff, get rid of the floor. We are gonna need a floor in here, obviously. I don't wanna have them living on grass and stone, that's not very helpful. There we go. Just kind of get rid of all that. Another thing with the new textures that I forgot to mention. Um, I'm basing all the new textures off of the second version of the beta textures that was released quite a while ago. I have a feeling that at some point 
we are going to see another batch of new textures. So how long? And at that point, I will update my texture pack accordingly. So how long these will actually last? I, I genuinely don't know. Like we may actually never use, uh, it's possible that Mojang could be like, try the new ver the third version of the new textures. They could do that like the day after tomorrow and then, you know, change every single texture. And then I would basically have to update the entire texture pack again. So uh, it, it is possible that some of these textures may again change. I think uh, cobblestone could use a little bit of work. It looks a little too, um, a little too scaly for me. Uh, for my taste. Like, I think it's just a little bit too scaly. I don't think it's, like, bad, but it's too... I don't know. It's too, like, bubbly. It looks like the, the cobblestone has bubbles in it. I think that could use a little bit of modification. Um, I think... There's a number of different things that I would personally change just a little bit about uh, the textures. And I think, like, when that happens... If, if it does, if Mojang changes the textures, uh, then I will have to update my texture pack accordingly. So if you see a texture here that you really don't like, um, because it, the, the texture that it's based off you think is bad, like, like for example, if you really don't like the cobblestone, uh, or you really don't like the planks or something like that, uh, just be patient and wait and see what Mojang actually does. Because it's possible that they may just completely change it all together and it won't even matter in a couple weeks. Who knows? Uh, I also don't know if the new textures are actually going to be released uh, with 1.13. I kind of get the impression that they're not going to be. Um, but I don't know. So well, only one way to find out. We'll just have to wait and see. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. Let's do something like that. And then... I think we'll go... Dark oak, turn those into stripped. Like that. We'll go here. And that seems okay. All right, something like this for our little like apartment building. And then I think we probably want to go like that. Right? Up, 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 up. Now, I'm going to end up reworking this ceiling. I know that much for sure. But I don't know how much of the ceiling I'm going to rework. But I know I'm going to rework it in some way, shape, or form. Okay, so we'll do something like this, uh, something like that for our wall. I suppose what we could maybe do, as far as the ceiling goes, is we could go like, um, let's go here. One, oop. Oh, man. I messed it up. There, there, there. We could do something like that, and maybe we go like this. Come back, you. And go boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. And then up at this very top level. Oh, not that one. Come back. We go like so. Something like that could be good. And then the other thing we could do if we are going to do that... is we could take some spruce logs and do some cross beams to make the ceiling a little bit more interesting. Right? Something like that, perhaps? Uh, not really a huge fan of that. I thought I was going to like it, but I really didn't. <laughs> I don't like that as much as I thought I was going to. That's all right. Trial and error, my friends. Trial and error. There we go. Let's do that. Now, in here... Um... Hmm. This is an interesting one, because we've got, like, these windows and stuff up here. I think what we're going to do for this 
is I'm just gonna keep it like super simple. And we're just gonna do that. And then fill it in like so. Come back. Well, I'll get that one in a minute. Uh, but if we're gonna do that, I need to get up here with some torches. Put a torch there, there, and there, I guess. Just just enough to keep things from spawning up in the attic. Um, and we'll go boop, boop, boop. Okay, that seems fine. This is like one area. And then I am gonna need... Tell you what, let's do it this way. Let's do something like that, looking good. Boop, 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 boop. And boop, 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 boop. Lovely. Good, good, good. And bring that all down. Stupid torch. Every time, I'll tell you. Um, we actually do need to get up there, though, don't we? Because we got to do the torch thing again. Torch, torch, torch. Looks good. Oh, not you. Come back. Okay, I think that's good. There we go. So, we have all of this in place. As far as decorating the inside of this, I I don't really know what I want to do. Maybe I'll think on this one a little bit. Uh, we do need doors. So, let's go... Um, let's do dark oak doors. I'll just make a couple of these. I'll put one here. And one there. And actually, we'll go like that instead. I think that'll look a little better. Just an upside down stair leading into the doorway. Yeah, I think that's good. Cool. So I'm fairly happy with how this turned out. For now, we do uh, want to do a full interior on these, but I think I'm going to save that for a later episode. Uh, let me go ahead and grab a comment or question of the day, and I will be back with you in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back. Today's comment or question of the day is very fitting for today's episode, actually. It's from Impulsive, who asks, what do you use to make textures? Um, personally, I use paint.net. Uh, it's a free program you can download. It's kind of like a heavily simplified version of Photoshop. That's basically what it is. Uh, but you can use any image editing software. You can use Photoshop. You can use, I mean, you could use Microsoft Paint if you really wanted to. Um, I, I personally use paint.net. Uh, GIMP is another option. There's plenty of programs out there. Basically, any sort of image editing software that lets you go in and change pixels and colors uh, will work. And then the other thing that you need is some sort of program to look at, extract, and uh, compress zip and jar files. So I use WinRAR. That's probably the most common one, but I'm sure there's other ones out there as well. Um, I've had a couple of people ask me if they ask me to make like a tutorial on creating your own texture pack and I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to that idea if I thought enough people would be interested in it. Um, but yeah, basically you need any sort of image editing software. I personally use paint.net. Um, you get it from a website that's like getpaint.net or something like that and it's a free download and it works great. Uh, that's actually what I use for all my thumbnails as well. It's kind of sad. Like, I have Photoshop because I have Adobe Creative Cloud, and I don't actually use Photoshop hardly at all because I just haven't been bothered to learn how to use Photoshop. How terrible is that? After three and a half years, I still don't know how to use Photoshop. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. I am out of time for this one. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.